welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a video with my best friends and we are going to be trying some pumpkin spice foods. I'm Maggie. I'm Rose. I'm Patty. And if you guys want to watch, <laughs> want to see how these pumpkin spice foods taste then just keep on watching. Get a little... Woo! So these are the life cereal but it's the pumpkin spice version. I've actually never even had life at all. Yeah. Give us life. Oh, yeah. This is like all just like The bottom of Christ. Okay, we'll, we'll all try it together. Okay, ready? It's not very pumpkin-y. Yeah, it's, it's not like overpowering. It tastes like... I don't hate it though. So. It kind of yeah. tastes like Apple Jacks. Yeah, I don't yeah. hate it. I don't hate it. I kind of like it. Yeah, I kind of like it. What would you guys rate it out of 10? Milk would be so good. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Maybe a 6. A 6? A bit. Yeah, I'd probably say a five or a six. Cause it's like good, but I also I eat my cereal dry, so. Yeah, you're weird. I don't. I know. <laughs> I've been so excited. I've been waiting to try this. It's the Angie's Boom Chicka Pop Up Pumpkin Spice. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Is <this> lucky? <laughs> okay. I mean, I could eat the whole thing. <laughs> it should be like the turkey leg where you break it. Not the, the turkey leg. The, the wishbone. wishbone. <laughs> <laughs> you ripped the flesh from the turkey. Oh my god, there's like chocolate on it. I think it's cinnamon. No, see like the white chocolate? Oh. Peter's just not having you now so much. Okay, I'm gonna break this. I tried Are you guys it. ready? Oh. Oh, I like it. I, like I it. really like that. It's a good mix of salty and sweet. Mm -hmm. Where can you find this, Tai Tai? Yeah. I got it at Harris Teeter. Who wants to Same choose next? Delicious. Should we do the pretzels next? Sure. We have two kinds of pretzels. So these are the ones I don't think I'm going to do these. So these ones are the Creative Snacks Company, the limited edition pumpkin spice yogurt pretzels. I realized that they were yogurt after I bought them, so that's kind of gross. And these are just pumpkin spice pretzels. Let's compare what they look like. Oh, they look pretty similar. These ones are just a little lighter. Oops, these ones are attached. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is anyone okay, I'm ready? I'm a trying little, the yogurt one yeah, first, the I'm lighter one. The spice one first. I don't like it. Really? Mm-hmm. The initial taste is bad, but I kind of like it after. It tastes like Party City. I'm gonna try the other it ones now. really fake. It tastes like Coca Cola. These ones are a lot better. These ones were, yeah, these are just the pumpkin the spice. Pumpkin spice are so much better. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. This tastes like I'm eating like a Barnes and Noble. I don't like these. Ew, ew, I have a bad taste in my mouth. <laughs> ew, ew, where's my water? <laughs> yeah, I need water. Yeah. Starbucks, sponsor me. Alpha Chi oh. Omega, now Jean, sponsor me. <laughs> Chikea, sponsor me. <laughs> this is not an affiliation with Alpha Chi Community Elon University. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's next? Yeah. Patty, do the honors. The pure one. I have to open it. Oh, I really did not like those brand. pretzels. That was disgusting. Oh, yeah. Archer ate that. I wonder how I'm not supposed to put these in. This is all I want. What if we dip these in apple cider? Mm -hmm. Alright, ready? Together. Nothing special. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't reach for them. I probably. I was gonna say I probably wouldn't eat this again. Yeah. I don't until next year. Yeah, yeah, until next year's video. I think one bite is enough for this. Yeah. 
what are they called? These are the pumpkin spice cream filled rolled wafers I'll from like Archer Farms. Do you like it? Not really. <laughs> but I'll eat it. We're far from the truck. Maggie, you pick. I'm most excited for the marshmallows. I don't really like marshmallows, so I'm really not excited to love try these. I have like a weird obsession with marshmallows, so. Wait. One time when I was little in preschool, we had to bring in a hundred of something, so I did like a hundred mini marshmallows, That's and then I passed them to my class, and my teacher was like, oh, do you not, you should eat some of your own marshmallows. I'm like, oh, I don't like them. Mm -hmm. Oh, they're marshmallows. Oh, actually, they smell pretty they're good. Shaped. They're really cute, and they're they pumpkin good. shaped. I love it. I don't really like the texture of it. I feel like you need to cleanse my palate. Oh god, I just got that on no, my bag. Like yeah, no. Sorry, that's a no go to me. I'm gonna get that, give that a negative four. Oh my god. I give it like an eight. What did we give a ten out of the popcorn? No. What did we give them pretzels? I, give I them did a, not like I give it a, a one. I give it like a six. I gave the pretzels like a one. I don't really like those. Yeah. I can't tell. I, yeah, the, it's like the before or after okay, taste is not. I love I'm not a marshmallow. Yeah, because they're like light, so it's like not a lot of calories for a lot. So it's a great dessert. Yeah. Oh my god, I wonder the if they have pumpkin spice whipped cream. I'm sure they do. That's what I was thinking oh, they about. Oh, they certainly do. I think I'm we sure. can make our own cinnamon. Oh. We can whip it up. <laughs> Whip it good. Okay, what do we have? We have almonds. I'm not excited for them. I can't eat them because I'm allergic, so. Quirky. Quirkiness. Yeah, we're gonna kill Taylor today. <laughs> I'll just have some of my water. I think the colors are fun. They I'll just like, yeah. The, they're really they well robin eggs. Yeah, they look really cute. It's only chocolate. What cleanses your palate? I just know I'm not gonna like these, so I'm not gonna um, put myself through that. No, you should. You should try it. You should. You have to because it's the video. I'm gonna try it first and then okay, I'll, we'll try it. I'll see. Ew. Ew, I just put it. Nice smell them. These smell coconut. Ew, Ew that, smells, that smells disgusting. That smells so uh, gross. No. I only. Oh god. I feel like I'm gonna gag from that. I'm really like nasty. Yeah. I only taste the spice with the initial like bite into it. Just, yeah, just lick it. Like, like or the video. video. Yeah, like just, like bite it in half. Half. yeah, just bite it in half and see see what it's like. Yeah, bite it like you'll, it. you'll get like the essence of the spice. But do you like almonds? Yeah. Then I think you'll I think you'll like it. It's more like toasted almondy. It's pretty good, but no. I really hate it. Oh, <laughs> this isn't really. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, eat some popcorn quick. No, I. <laughs> she doesn't want to swallow it. I have to. I have no choice. Ew, I can still smell it. That's really... Ew. No. Ah, uh, it tastes like old people. <laughs> oh, dear you God. You mean an old person? <laughs> What's your <laughs> sense <coughs> Are you a cannibal? No. Not. Brody. All right, what do we have? This it's chocolate. chocolate. Rose, these are courtesy of Rose. They're Ghirardelli chocolate squares, milk chocolate pumpkin spice caramel. I think I'm gonna like these. Rose and I may I or may really not have cheated <laughs> and had one last night <laughs> while watching Friends, so. Yeah. Get out of here. But we can yeah. act, we can pretend. Yeah, like, no I, needed, idea. I needed, what, last night, I couldn't really tell, you know, the pumpkin spice. We're in the moment. I was in the moment. I don't also, even know. I, I don't couldn't. Know that right now, I'm so cool. I also They're just good. couldn't tell I can't focus to, like, this, but. I give them a nine. What I had one last night. Oh my god, I'm sorry. I wish they had a dark chocolate one space. Because mm -hmm. I can only find milk chocolate. It's a very small hint of pumpkin. I can't really yeah. taste it. Okay, it just tastes like the caramel squares. Yeah. yeah. I like the dark chocolate caramel ones. That's why, mm -hmm. that's why I thought it'd be more worth it if they were dark chocolate. Because at least it like, they didn't taste like much pumpkin. And also, if they were dark chocolate, I feel like the pumpkin would come out more versus milk chocolate. So yeah. It's so sweet. I'll give this like a nine. <laughs> just look at that. Oh, yeah. that was a really good pull. And out. Snaps to you. 
<laughs> Food nice. to me. And then what else? Yeah, it's like a. Oh, I mean, these aren't gonna buy it because it just tastes like a regular. Yeah. Those are my favorite. Okay, these are pumpkin, but this is our bonus. So these are the caramel apple pops. I have heard so many good things about these. Oh, you, you didn't even open them yet? Yeah, they're so nice. You've never had these? No. Oh my god. Is that crazy? Yeah. I've never yeah. seen them. Where do you buy them? Target, mm -hmm. Party City. Yeah. I don't want one right now. Oh, how do you get this they're off? They're so good. I will get them for. I can get it off. Is that Kim Scott? <gasps> I just got it yesterday. I love it. Oh my god, this Thank is you. camera. Wait, I went in there yesterday. I just randomly bought myself a ring. <laughs> From where? Kendra Scott. It's in Greensboro. But like, it's a good. I it's need like more rings. Like, I need like. So I need cute. I love that. And like, I I like to I like don't really like to mix silver. But then the lady was like, yeah, this is a good way because this is more cooler tones and this is like warmer tones. Yeah. Yeah. I know. I just started mixing gold and silver. I love mixing metal. Like I have gold necklaces, but I, all of my like silver oh. and are mixed. Hmm. Yeah. And he's like, I even bought these. He's like, I know you don't take your necklace off. Oh my god, this is so good! With like a band that like is mm. multi-purpose. I really like these. Isn't it good? It tastes like a car long long. Yeah. Except no effort has to be put in to make it. <laughs> True. I would rate this. And like, and as you like get down, as the caramel kind of wears off, the apple gets more sour. It's so good. Shut up. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Tune in. <laughs> Does she? Yeah. What's her name? Emily. Hi, Emily. If you're watching this, um, we're eating Shout these because you. of you. Um, thank you for your service. <laughs> Thanks for your view, Emily. If you want to subscribe and stick around, <laughs> you should smash that like button. <laughs> yeah. Wait, hit the subscribe button down below. Wait, your nephew's name is Cooper, right? No, that's my dog's name. Okay. <laughs> Someone say it was Cooper. Cause that's my sister's touch. <laughs> hey, and if you're watching this, he's my nephew. He's so adorable. <laughs> he's probably not watching this. He's only eight year old. Could be. You never know. I don't know. They, they start young. They yeah. start young these days. I give this. I give this like an eight. Yeah. They're one? annoying to eat because they take so long, but also. Yeah. You have it's to worth it. it. You have to work, work for it. Yeah. Hey, Boys, you better work for it. That's all I'm you saying. You better work, bitch. <laughs> you can't, you can't just step in here. Okay, I have good advice when it comes to like you have good being advice. bold. Don't, don't talk to me. Yeah, well, I think I have good, I, I have good <laughs> advice. No, no, no. Don't you guys think I have good advice when it comes to being bold? Don't go yes. out there. Don't, don't, don't put it. yourself out there. Taylor, no. you're tired of me. Like, girl, just talk to him because he's the weird one, not you. Wear that outfit with your hair, like send the text, FaceTime. Yeah. Honestly, what are you guys' thoughts on like texting? I don't like texting guys. I think I would rather just them call me on the phone. I don't know. Like maybe text in the beginning. That obviously makes sense. But like in the future, I just wish like people would only call. One or both of them. I like FaceTiming. <laughs> uh-huh. I love, I like FaceTime my sister all the time. She's not a boy, but you know. Okay, what are your thoughts on texts? Texting versus calling. Would you rather a guy text or call you? I think like starting out texting to like feel it out and like see like where it's going is a good idea. But I think also like, I like, as of now, like I'm trying to t call more mm -hmm. and even FaceTime more. And we're just saying FaceTime is like where it's at. Yeah, because it just like, it sounds better when it's coming like from words and not a, on a screen, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And the way like you can say something means a lot, so. Mm -hmm. What do you notice about a guy first? Smile. It's the number one thing. Yeah. I notice the nose or the eyes first, probably. I think eyes and eyebrows. Yeah, I know. Yeah. yeah, eyes and eyebrows. Like, they don't have to be perfect. Or if Mine he lets you, or if he lets you like, do them, you know, for him. Mm -hmm. Like prep, like just like a little like here little, and there, little grooming here and there. Yeah, and that's perfect. Little, too. Yeah, a little teasing <laughs> down the middle. What's a deal breaker when you're talking to a guy that you're interested in? I think they have to be nice to their moms. At least six six. Yeah, 
If they're not nice to their moms, then there's something wrong with them. Yeah, I think they have to just be like. <laughs> I think they just have to be like a good person. Sleep. Sleep. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what did you say, Rats? I think they just have to be like a good, not a shitty person. Well, mm -hmm. yeah. A deal breaker if they don't tip. Like yeah. waiters and stuff. Like yeah, like if they're if they're rude to waiters, that's yeah. mean. Like if you go to a restaurant or something on a date and they just don't respect mm -hmm. people like who work there, I think that's rude because like. Oh, another deal breaker, you have to be able to deal with my craziness. Like, <laughs> I am crazy every single day. Yeah. yeah. Like, the other night, I literally had a laughing attack. I was rolling on the floor for 20 minutes. <laughs> I <swear. laughs> It was about, like, oh, oh, it was about, okay, my friend. She goes here. She got a parking ticket, right? So, she went to go pay it, and I texted her. I was like, hey, how did it go? And she's like, oh, yeah, like, it was okay. I got my car back, though. And I was like, how much did you end up paying? Because it said $70. She had to pay 125 And then she goes, I just threw it on the tuition bill. And like, she didn't tell her parents. And I thought that was so funny. And I was rolling on the ground for 20 minutes. <laughs> like, we're still the same. We're sitting right there. And they're like, are you okay? I'm like, this is nothing new. So. I feel like you, like, someone perfect for you is someone who, like, levels you out, you know? Yeah. So, like, but be, also someone that can be super crazy, No, too. someone who can be, like, equally as crazy, but then is also, like, super chill. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What makes you want to date someone? Hmm. I like when like there's equal amount of like interest. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so effort. you know if I'm putting like a foot forward and like inviting them to something, usually like you know invite them to something social like with your friends, then they actually like show up mm -hmm. and like they show interest. Like I find that really like attractive. Yeah, I find it attractive too when they're like nice to your friends. Yeah. And they like want to get to know your friends. They're not just I love like how we have standards. <laughs> uh, such if you don't, standards. girls, if you don't have standards, you're gonna get walked all over. So you better start getting them now. True. <laughs> um, what's your favorite quality in a guy? Hmm. Sense of humor. Yeah, I was gonna say funny, but also like someone who's like really sweet. A yeah. Ooh, <laughs> good one. Like yeah, I think someone like that can make me laugh, mm -hmm. but also like that I can make them laugh even if I'm yeah. weird. Yeah, because yeah. that's usually most of the time. <laughs> What's the worst thing a guy can do on a date? Not talk to you. <laughs> like when I went on that date in the summer. Oh no. <laughs> I don't know if I ever told you, you guys. Told I think me, I yeah. told you. Yeah, you told like us. I felt like I was the one who was keep like had to keep the conversation going, and luckily, like I have a million things to talk about. I never run out of things to talk about because I talk so much. But <laughs> like I was worried about that, and I remember Sam and Rachel were like, "Don't be nervous. You like never stop talking." And I'm like, "You're right. I don't." So yeah, I just feel like I was the only one talking yeah. a lot of the time. Not show up. <laughs> Re freaking tweet. <laughs> <laughs> or um, keep canceling on you. Oh my god. Like someone experienced this summer? I, I know. I think I get who you're talking about. I think I can get the hint. I think I feel the vibes. <laughs> I'm too nervous. Yeah. yeah. What characteristic makes a guy boyfriend material? This though, I think just doing like little random acts of kindness. Like it would make me like the happiest if someone just like gave me like a card or just like texted yeah. me or just like Brought me flowers or something. Like texting, like just being like, hi, I just like hope you're gonna have a good day. Mm -hmm. blah, blah, blah. Just checking in. Yeah, and I also think like, just like having them show you signs that it's moving forward and not mm -hmm. just like keeping it in a lull if you like wanna keep dating them, you know? Yeah. Like, and I also think like, time is money. I, well, something I think is super important is like, if they ask you how you are, like they actually care about how you're doing. It's not just like you run into someone and you're like, oh, how are you? Um, it's like they really care about how you are. Yeah. Um, what makes a guy less attractive to you in conversation when he can't hold the conversation? <laughs> a lot of cursing, like yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And also like, also they're just like inappropriate and mature. Yeah. That's um, like a big turn off. I would say that. also if they bring up something like politics on the first oh, date, you know? That's like, a big no And like a first conversation, I feel like that's not something you, you should talk about. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Even after maybe a year of dating. And don't tell us about your ex-girlfriend either. 
Yeah, don't bring up exes. <laughs> don't talk about other girls, period. Yeah, no. I had to be like, no, no. I saw such a hot girl the other day. She's like, thanks, I don't want to hear that. What's one thing you wish guys knew? Well, there's a lot of things. I wish this they, is getting a lot better. I can see honestly, I wish they <laughs> knew more about women, like, anatomy. Mm -hmm. And have a better, just like a better understanding of how like the human body of a woman works. Because like, yeah. it would just be beneficial to know what we go through. Similarly to that, it's just like, it's so annoying when a guy is like freaked out by like a period or mm -hmm. something. I'm like, it's really not a big deal. I'm like, this is like the way that- I'm like, if you're my boyfriend, you're going to be running to CVS to get me pads and tampons if I need them. So, oh my god, I just hit you. I'm sorry. Yeah, and it's just like a normal- bodily function <laughs> you know like it's not anything weird mm -hmm. I, I also wish they they could tell when we like them yeah because they're <laughs> clueless or like the opposite like when i'm like i'm literally just talking to a human human like oh yeah i'm them. like i'm not interested yeah you know like when you're talking to a guy and you can like see right through them and you're like you're not actually paying attention to yeah them. you're just being like is this as I was saying, <laughs> I hate when like you're talking to a guy and you're like, I just want to talk to you human to human and like you can see right through them and they're like, is she flirting with me? Should I flirt with her? Is this going to go? And you're just like, no, like just talk to me. Yeah. And like, because I'm also a huge believer in like, you have to be friends first. Like you can't just like jump into it romantically first. Like you have to be friends and have mm -hmm. that basis and then like it can progress from there. This is like, a stupid you know, question. Do you think it's okay for guys to flirt with other girls when in a relationship? Frick no. no. Uh, that's not allowed. I think it's okay for them to talk, talk to them. Talk, but not yeah. like talk, talk. But don't to be them. like, hey. Yeah. <laughs> that's weird. I don't want them to like cuddle. I don't know. <laughs> mm -hmm. What are your thoughts on PDA? I'm. I'm I don't mind like if people are like holding hands. Like yeah. I think that's cute. Holding yeah. hands or like getting like a kiss on the cheek or just like a peck. Like I think it's fine. I don't really enjoy like people just. I mean, it's never really happening. Yeah, like I wouldn't want my friends like making out with their boyfriends in my apartment. Yeah, like, yeah. Like we're watching a movie and like the other like a couple nights ago or a couple weeks ago, um, it was me, my friend Emily, and my friend Maris, and like all of our boyfriends were over and we were just like sitting next to each other like with the and ever, like they all had like our arms around them yeah and, like really leaning up against them like that was chill but if one of us was making out I, we feel so I don't get it when like I don't I don't like it when people who are in relationships like literally don't touch each other at all yeah. like yeah. when they're in group settings like it's not weird to just like yeah be like holding your boyfriend's hand or something yeah. or like have your arm around him like that's not weird but like some people, their, their relationship just isn't like that. And I, I don't know, I could not be in a relationship like that. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, um, I know, I like need to be like... And like close to the person. I don't yeah. know, like it's so nice, you yeah. know? What's, a, what's the best place for a first date? I would say, mm. honestly, like I just, I feel most comfortable in my apartment. So probably like in the living room and you like just make pops up like some popcorn and watch a movie. I think that's really nice. I would say definitely don't go to a movie. No. Yeah. Because you can't talk. That's the only Dinner is kind of awkward if it's like one of the first times you're meeting them because like, if it, if if it depends fall, on the place. Like if Go to a pumpkin patch if it's fall. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Like something outdoors is fun. Ice like, skating. If it's like winter time, that'd be fun. Yeah. Oh my God, like what do you think about like getting coffee <laughs> with someone? I think that's fine because you don't know like how long it will mm -hmm. go and if you do it kind of like at around maybe like 10 a.m. then it could go to lunch you can like if you like it then you can just enjoy the lunch yeah if you do it later you can do you can say like how's dinner yeah it can always go from there so mm -hmm. but be aware if a guy asks you to hang out probably like I would say past 10 p.m. it's a booty call yeah, unless he has something going on like throughout the whole day where he's like, I'm busy until this. And then he's like, what, what if we go out and get dinner and then like I'll drive you home? Yeah. Like, I feel like that's a pretty normal mm -hmm. um, thing to do. But I feel like if you're- Yeah, he should at least pick you up or like walk you home yeah, or but whatever. Yeah, I think studying little dates are cute. Yeah. That's like a cute way because and like- And that's also comfortable because then if you get, if you don't 
know what to talk about, then you can just refer to the textbook. <laughs> yeah. I <laughs> Oh my god, I still so don't understand this. <laughs> Hanging out like and doing homework together. Yeah. Because it's, it's like, like you can be distracted and it's like, 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 it's like very yeah. chill. Like yeah. there's not a lot of pressure. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, and by the way, what'd you get for <laughs> What are some things you hate about guys? So many things. <laughs> don't get me started. I don't think I hate anything about guys. Oh, uh, well, I mean, I'm sure there's something, but... <laughs> <laughs> really? When they're confusing. Yes! Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to think about, like... I hate when they, like, you're talking to them or something, and then, like, you think it's going well, and then you see them, like, talking to another girl I or think, something. I guess, like... I and guess then you're like, like, do you treat every girl like how you treat yeah. me? Like, uh -uh. Yeah. Uh-uh. Yeah. I guess it's, like... Yeah, that's kind of a big thing if you're not like in a relationship with someone and you're kind of like is it this is it that like that and that's that can be confusing i guess like closer into the relationship when you're trying to have a conversation about something and they don't understand like what you're upset about mm -hmm. or they don't understand the point where you're so you kind from. of have to train boys in a way you know <laughs> what i mean i think we're just smarter we, well, yeah, like girls, girls mature, mature. girls yeah. mature more, yeah, and like we put more thought into things too. <laughs> yeah, like though. girls overthink and stuff, but no, I don't know. Just waters. What do you do if a guy tells you that he loves you but you don't feel the same? Oh, that's funny. What? <laughs> you don't you do? Know. I was like, sorry. <laughs> oh my! <laughs> yeah, it was so awkward. I was like, he's like. It was a kind of like a short relationship, summer going into school. Mm -hmm. Oh wait, I think I know here. This was like this was sophomore year going. Was it like this past summer or just high school? Was he from your work? Yeah, I think it was mm. sophomore year going into junior, year, and it was like the middle of summer. Of college or high school? College. It was in the middle of summer. Full of Yeah. Don't oh wait, summer. no. <laughs> not this past summer, the summer before. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, <laughs> and we were like just hanging out, just like better. getting together or whatever for only like two or three weeks. And then he's like, so how's this going to work? Like as we were talking about me going back to school. <laughs> and he's like, I, and he was like, I really care about you. Blah, 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 blah. I don't know if he said love, but I was like, please start crying. Because I was yeah. like, oh, I'm sorry. Like, I, oh, God. I, <laughs> I, I like, can't continue this because I know how hard it is to continue a relationship in based on my going into freshman year experience. Mm -hmm. mm, that's kind of a good one. I mean, that's funny. Yeah. Okay. I kind of talked about this before, but is there a significance behind guys buying you flowers or is it just a way to get brownie points? Um... It depends on the girl too. Some girls don't really want that kind I of mean, like flowers. I mean, like for me, I do. Oh, I do. <laughs> and like maybe some roses. For me, like no, sometimes just sometimes like you don't have to like get them something every single time. But if I go to the grocery store or if I'm at Target and I'm just shopping, I know Tate loves Twizzlers. So I'll just yeah. pick up some Twizzlers and we'll and I'll share them with him like when we watch a movie. You know, yeah. Just some stuff like that, or you know, if he's. Yourself yeah, like just I guess. What's just, everyone's I mean, just, like, love something, language? You know? Do you know your love language? Quality time. That's mine too. So that's how do you know? Like, you take tests. Oh, like, online. <laughs> I, I like. Describe. I don't care about <laughs> gifts because like I'm like I just want you like with me, or I just want to know that like I think mine is you're in my life. I think I did you know tests. Yeah, but I don't. I that's value kind of thing. like me. Yeah, but I mean, like, I, or like I value like the thought that you had when you were like, this if you're at the grocery store or something, and you're like, oh, I'm just gonna pick up flowers for like my wife or husband. Mm -hmm. Like I think that is so significant compared to like the actual thing. Yeah. You know, like it's nice to get gifts, but I think it's the the thought that they they thought of you like when yeah. you're passing by something. I think that's really special. And like, I think it's important that like. Some guys just don't pay attention mm -hmm. to like, so it's like, hey, like if I got my nails done, like I want my boyfriend to be like, oh, look, you got your nails done, like it looks so cute, yeah. or like you got a haircut or something, yeah. like you can just like not notice those little things. Yeah, yeah. notice my tattoo. <laughs> T. And Arvin is he? Yeah, Arvin found out before. He's like, is that? Mm. I was like, I don't say anything. It's like one. What would you describe as clingy? Someone doesn't give you your face. 
Don't let you hang out with your friends. We're independent women. Yeah, someone who can just understand that you want your alone time as much as you want them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That you value your alone time as much as you value like being with them. Yeah, yeah I think you have I to. Understand that. You have to put a lot of like focus on that you're an individual. Like before you met them. Yeah. And that like you still have all your own interests and like you have things that you want to do with your friends that you don't want to do. And the same for like a guy. Like obviously yeah. like. I wouldn't want to go to like a guy's fest. I'd be like, I'm gonna like go do my homework or something. <laughs> Sorry, I'm still looking up how to roast seeds. <laughs> Some say to like leave them out for 24 hours, but I don't think so. I think I could just roast them. No. I'm not drying out anyway. Yeah, and I'm gonna wash them and people are like- I Do girls care them. about what guys wear? Yes, oh my God, so much. Oh, I hate. Ugh. Yeah, yeah. No, I care so much. I mean, if they wear, I just think like just looking presentable. Like obviously we all yeah, don't look like, presentable wear, sometimes. You, like when they wake if up. If he wears but. like pajama bottoms and a sweatshirt to class every single day, mm -hmm. I'm like, eh, do you have the clothes? I so care so she? much about what guys yeah. wear. But then it, like I'm I wear so I wear sweatpants all the time. I so love when guys wear pink. <laughs> I love work when guys wear pink. Yeah, that's like, like formal pink or like pink sweatshirt. Or like what? like like a polo, like a pink polo or something like, like that. Tyler like Tyler Cameron. A, yeah, it's Tyler, so if you're if you're watching this, I don't know. Tyler. What do you find the most intimidating about guys? Their voice. <laughs> no, I don't really find them intimidating. <laughs> No one really intimidates um, me. I'm yeah. still like out there. I think it's just the unknown again. You know. Yeah, just, like, not, like knowing not knowing their intentions and or like, like what's gonna happen, and then not being like direct with you. Yeah, like be honest. Yeah, and what? like be upfront instead of like talking or like beating around the bush or whatever. Yeah. What types of guys are you most attracted to? You can describe yours. I already know it. <laughs> Dark, like dark wavy hair and tanner than me. And <laughs> like Harry Styles, basically. Harry Styles, yeah. Blubber. Is he like a beachy guy? Yeah, like Harry Styles, but like more like surfer. Like laid back. Like Vans wearing, like. Like ripped jeans, stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. Like cute t-shirt. Like yeah. That. Okay. Like Patagonia, you know. Yeah. That vibe. Like chill, artistically inclined. This Mm -hmm. But like works out, but not too much. <laughs> I'm, uh, yeah. I have such a type. What was the question? What's your type? Yeah. What what types of guys are you most attracted to, Patty? British. <laughs> you know boy. she loves London, London boys. Boy. Yeah. No, no. Boy, I fancy you. Ooh. I really like. I'm like attracted to a guy if he has like a drive or something. Like, yeah. He's like really passionate Motivation about something or like great. when he cares about school. Yeah. Like I don't like when guys are like care. Just like don't care about anything. Hooked, right? All right. Well, that was the end of our pumpkin spice slash boy advice. Relationship <laughs> advice video. What a turn. Um, again, you guys should like this video and subscribe. I'll leave their socials down below. And look out. What? Wait. What's the SSN. Your social security number. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I meant like social media. Yes. Yeah, I'll leave their social media. medias down below. And we'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Bye.